and I haven't done a tag video in a really long time and I was tagged by the Lawn Gnome I don't even know how long ago to do a tag and I thought it was about time that I do this this tag and so that is the wedding the wedding movie film tag the wedding tag the wedding we're gonna call it the wedding tag and you may be wondering why I'm in front of movies instead of books because this is actually a movie tag. Most of these questions are specifically about movies and the Lawn Gnome does mostly movie reviews so I thought that because he tagged me and because this tag is specifically geared towards movies that I would do all movies instead of pulling from books. So we're going to get started and start with the first question which is fiance. So which fictional character would you choose to be your fiance? Now I am already married and so there is no one else that I would rather be married to than my husband. But to answer this question, the the character that I would choose would be Samwise Gamgee. Because my husband is Sam. He is Sam. And not only that, a couple years ago a friend of ours had a Hobbit birthday party and my husband dressed up as Sam and I dressed up as Rosie from The Lord of the Rings. So isn't that just cute? It was fun. It was so fun. So we were, and I just have to say, this has nothing to do with this tag, I have to say we were like hardcore on the fact that we had to park like a block away, but we didn't wear shoes because hobbits don't wear shoes. They go very well. And we were hobbits. Moving on to question number two, and that is engagement. Fa favorite romantic scene that would be your engagement. And again, I love my engagement to my husband. It was perfect and wonderful, but I do have to say that one of my favorite engagements comes from Love at the Christmas Table, and I just I just think it's beautiful. It's really thought out and very thoughtful, and you know, there's two parts to it. I just, I just really absolutely love it, and it's just fantastic. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because it really does spoil a lot of the movie, but I do have to say that it is absolutely beautiful and just so cute and wonderful. So that would be the engagement that I would choose if I wasn't saying my own. Okay, question number three is venue. Pick a film's venue that would be the location for your wedding. And the location that I chose, I specifically chose something that was set in France because my husband loves France and specifically this time period and that would be ever after at the castle because who wouldn't want to get married in the castle? Because that's awesome. So, yes. Yes. And it's France and it's beautiful. So that would be awesome. Okay, question number four. Are we on number four? Question number four, which is catering. Pick a, films that, pick a film that you would choose to cater your wedding that has good food in it. And the one that I chose specifically before the enchantment comes down, that would be Beauty and the Beast. Because how awesome would that be to have, you know, dishes moving on their own accord? How fantastic. And, plus, this is set in France too, so we wouldn't have to go very far. Because it's, you know, we wouldn't have to pay a huge fee for them to come and cater. Because we're already in France. So, there we go. Question number six, I believe. Or question five. It doesn't matter. The next question, which is, who would be your maid of honor? And there is no doubt that this would be the person that I would choose, and that would be Jane from 27 Dresses, because let's just be honest, she is a freaking amazing maid of honor. She goes above and beyond, and she's just a good friend. Like, you know, not only is she doing this for, you know, her friends, but she, I feel like she does have a good time, even if she is single. And, yeah. I just think she does all of this because she has a good time and loves weddings and loves her friends. So she would be a fantastic, fantastic maid of honor. Okay, the next question is best man. Who would be the best man? And now, you know, the groom chooses the best man. And so who would Sam choose? But of course, Frodo. I mean, come on, Frodo. Who else would he choose but Frodo? Next question is bridesmaids and groomsmen. So the groomsmen, of course, would be Mary and Pippin because, I mean, come on, let's just be honest. It'd be Mary and Pippin. 
th there's no question about that. And then the the bridesmaids. This is not a movie, but it it is. Um, it's a, from a TV show, and I would choose Lane, Suki, and maybe Paris. Not Lorelai or Gil or not Lorelai or Rory, because I think they are actually terrible friends. But Lane and Suki are the most amazing, selfless friends ever, especially when your best friends are Rory and Lorelai, who are the most selfish, self-centered people on the face of the planet. Or, you know, not planet, but, you know, in fake world, you know. Yeah, so Lane and Suki, because they are, they are just amazing friends, and they would be amazing, and they would definitely help Jane out well. So, and then maybe Paris, because Paris is just hysterical. There we go. Okay, and then the next question is, what would your clothes be? So, which film's closet would you raid? And I have to say that I would definitely raid Princess Mia's closet. Because, first of all, she has, like, an amazing wardrobe, not just her fancy dresses. But her coronation gown is absolutely beautiful. I want to choose her wedding dress because I, I didn't... I mean, it's okay. It's pretty. But her coronation dress, that's beautiful. It's amazing and beautiful. And the rest of her clothes are just fantastic. Just fantastic. And then the next question is theme. What look and feel from a film would you use as your wedding theme? And I don't... I own this movie. I think I own it on VHS, so it's not even in here anymore. Um, and that is Sweet Home Alabama. The wedding that they have at the end, I... I just, I really love that wedding. I feel like it's it's very homey. It has just their closest friends and family, and it's it's just not a it's not a huge production, but it's just a great celebration. Even if it you know, yeah, it it doesn't work out exactly the way you think it should. I just love that aspect of it. So I would definitely pick that theme, and it it wouldn't end that wedding wouldn't end the way. I did in that movie, but I like the the hometown feel, small aspect of that wedding. That's what I would choose. Okay, and then the last question is honeymoon. What film location would you choose as your honeymoon destination? And so if I'm marrying Sam, we we live in Middle Earth, so we're we're going to Rivendale because well we live in the Shire, so we don't need to visit the Shire for our honeymoon. We're gonna travel. We're going to go to Rivendale because who wouldn't want to go to Rivendale? Sounds amazing. Amazing. Okay, so that is the last question. That is the wedding tag. It's, this was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun just looking at movies instead of books, and it was great. So I am not going to tag anyone because I don't really know who to tag. But if you want to just kind of, you know, have fun and you know, makeup stuff. You don't have to be married or engaged or even dating anybody or even believe in marriage to do this. It was a lot of fun. So if you want to do it, do it and let me know so I can watch your video. So, okay guys. And the last thing I have to say, I do have to reiterate, I love my husband. He is amazing. I would not choose anyone else besides him or the wedding we had or the engagement we had or any or the honeymoon we had. Our honeymoon was fantastic. We went to Disney World. Yeah. Okay, that, that's all I'm gonna have to, that's all I have to say. It's just that I love my husband and he's awesome. So Okay, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye. Oh, and thanks, Steve, for tagging me. You're awesome.